Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. I'm going to take a short trip outside my comfort zone here for a moment. Generally, I like to shoot for accuracy and range. Single-shot airguns, definitely not a problem. I love them. However, every now and then a product comes across my desk that just needs to be shot, regardless if it fits in my personal preference profile. The SMG-22 from Air Ordnance is one such air gun. Let's take a look. If you've ever been into paintball, then this air gun is going to look very familiar. It's based off the Tipman 98 Custom with some very important distinctions. First and foremost is that it's an air gun that shoots 22 cal lead pellets, not paintballs. This rifle utilizes a 100 round belt that's drum fed and fired in semi-auto and fully auto simply by how you work the trigger. It's the Tipman R trigger, so if you squeeze it gently, you get one round. If you squeeze it and keep it squeezed, you go full auto. No electronics, all mechanics. The action is powered by the included 20 ounce CO2 bottle, but it can also be run on a regulated Ninja bottle. Now it can take up to 1200 PSI, but I've been using a factory standard 1100 PSI bottle that comes right off their shelf. I really like the HPA option as it won't freeze up under heavy use. However, CO2 is easy to get filled and it works just fine as well. I'm not sure which is more ingenious, the SMG-22 rifle system or the accessory speed loader that you can get to help load the belt. I can't see having one of these, that is the SMG-22, and not having the speed loader. This thing makes easy work of getting 100 pellets all seated and ready to blast out of the SMG-22. Make sure to order one with your rifle, you definitely won't regret it. Accuracy and performance are, well, what you'd expect from something that's about full auto destruction. I ordered mine with the adjustable stock to aid with controlling the rifle, and I've mounted the Walther PS22 sight to help stay on target. The combination works very well. You can almost draw pictures with this rifle. Velocity with CO2 is around 570 FPS with 11.9 grain pellets and over 600 FPS running on HPA that's regulated to that 1100 PSI. Taking the SMG-22 out into the field is certainly no hardship. What's hard is trying to narrow down just what you want to destroy. This time out, it was a smiley clown face that I drew on our target, and then we had some tin cans set up on our other target. As you'll see, carnage is the word of the day with the SMG-22. The only limiting factors are your imagination and, of course, your supply of pellets and CO2. So here's our final summary. If there's one little thing that I would change on the SMG-22, it's going to be the placement of the CO2 bottle when you're utilizing this adjustable stock. It's really awkward to work around. There is an easy solution and that would be to add a drop forward or use a remote line. And since those are easy to get and put on your rifle, it's really not that big of a deal. Now the SMG-22 is marketed as a fully automatic air gun that's about fun and accuracy by volume and there's no arguing that it definitely fits those bills extremely well. Now lastly, Air Ordnance has preemptively tackled the pain in the butt belt loading process with their ingenious speed loader setup. If you're considering the SMG-22, don't check out without putting one of these in your shopping cart. While I was not an immediate fan of the concept, I am now a convert. 
there's nothing like going full auto to put a real smile on your face. I'd like to take a moment and thank Air Ordnance for sending us their fully equipped SMG-22 with all these great accessories. I'd also like to thank Ninja Paintball for providing us one of their regulated HPA bottles for testing. Please be sure to take a look at the video description for all the information and links to the products I used on this video. And when you make your purchases, please be sure to let them know that Rick over at Airgun Web sent you their way. When you're looking for honest real world Airgun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzer with AirgunWeb.com. Thanks again for watching.